shocking student complaint lodged from professors professor's refusal to acknowledge white privilege and it's bad have you checked your white privilege today white privilege what a joke if i really had privilege then why is it i works amongst every race on the planet without any special treatment in fact some of them probably got hired because they were not white I've seen ads that say whites not, need not apply, like, you want to talk about discrimination. Of course, the army of the left is opposite. If you are being discriminated, they will claim that they are. University of Pennsylvania student James Fisher took to the Ivy League school student newspaper to complain that a professor's refusal to acknowledge white privilege was a traumatic, traumatic experience for him. So he sees white people that succeed and it bothers him, is that it? Fisher claims that fall 2016 semester was his worst semester at University of Pennsylvania because a white professor refused to acknowledge his privilege. <laughs> These people are so mentally weak. I almost thank God that morons like this exist. This Fisher guy. I almost am glad that he exists because with weakings like this, there is no resistance for me to rise. There's no competition because all someone has to do is call him a bad name and he'll probably go cry all the way home and stay there for the rest of his life. Last semester was honestly the worst semester I've had at Penn so far, and all because of one thing, the white professors I've had at Penn. It appears that the term privilege does not apply to them, nor do they care to learn what it is. Mainly because it doesn't exist. Maybe a hundred years ago, maybe even fifty years ago, but I had to work my ass off to even get where I am now. And like I said, people actually got jobs because they were not white, not because they were. After one of his professors refused to acknowledge his privilege, Fisher claims that he was unable to attend that class for a month, saying he did not want to step foot into another white space until I made sure that my mental health was restored. <laughs> so he's gone brain dead because of this thing. Reality punched him right in the face, and he couldn't take it, I guess. Fisher detailed his experience in the classroom, claiming that the professor, a white man from the suburbs, cultivated a classroom environment that caused him trauma. Fortunately, he proved my suspicions to be true. There were countless times that his lack of acknowledgement of his privilege led to some of the trauma that I experienced in his class. He would show images of slaves on plantations and even allow students to say ignorant comments in class. Probably a lie. Fisher claims that he confronted the professor after class telling him the lack of awareness of personal privilege has caused him racial trauma, as if there was such a thing. I remember having an intense conversation after class. I basically told him that what he was doing was traumatic to me, and as someone who has experienced a lot of racial trauma in his life, I would not allow him to continue, blah, 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 blah. He's a complete fool. He'll go nowhere in life. The only thing he'll accumulate is the major debt that he accumulates from college, but a will like this, an idiot with a mindset like this, is not a winner, they're a loser. They'll be like that for the rest of their lives until they see what they have done. I do find it funny though. I would almost recommend that parents homeschool their kids for as long as possible because the current educational systems, you know, great geniuses in the past like Einstein and Nikola Tesla, and others, other inventors, have seen what I figured out, obviously too late because I went to college, but they figured out a long ago that the educational system does not actually teach you how to win in life. It gives you abstract information that you have to try and figure out what to do with, but it does not teach you how to win. I have learned more from the internet in the last 10 years than I did in the educational system for 25. And that's the truth. Oh,